are back. I'm John Ritchie. This is the Artie Lang Show. This is Maggie Gray. And now we have Mark Tremonti and Miles Kennedy. What's happening? Joining us in the studio. Hey. Hi, guys. Good to be here. Great to have you. Excited. Thanks for having us. Yeah. We were just talking about the fact that we used to be able to have some music playing here. I would have loved to <laughs> listen to your, your wares. But, uh, yeah. But we're just going to talk. We're going cool. to wrap it out. They got so, two legendary musicians here. Yeah. Can't even plug in the instruments. Did you, did you guys happen to catch the uh, Super Bowl halftime show? Yeah. So you saw Red Hot Chili Peppers and Bruno Mars. Yes. Okay, so people are making a big deal about how the Red Hot Chili Peppers didn't plug their instruments in because they actually pre-recorded the track because you have about 20 seconds to get your stuff in and out of the stage. Did you mm -hmm. guys find anything wrong with that, with what they did? You know, I, I think that's just, if you want to play Super Bowl halftime show, you got to... You just can't have everything work out for you. You know, it's just, it's not a live thing. Is that selling out, vocals. though? Is it to even play the halftime show or to like play before a football game? Is that not something that you want to do? I don't know. Play in front of a billion people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just in New York. Right. Yeah. Right. It just we seems like, it just seems like it's, it's uh, distilling your essence and selling your soul in a way. I mean, I, Oh, I don't know. That's I don't really? know. It's heavy. Yeah, because uh, listen, I mean, soul, you guys right? are the musicians. I'm just, I'm, I'm, you know, assuming maybe that you guys feel that, that got way. really dark. <laughs> Selling your soul. It's just a football evil. game. <laughs> right. <laughs> and my big master plan to take over the Artie Lang show is already going downhill. I mean, John I guess, Richie looks like he's gonna kill me. I guess no. you could. I guess you could look at it a number of ways. I think that some people probably look at it like it's a certain. You're kind of. I don't know, um, you're selling out, for, yeah. lack of, for lack of a better phrase. But uh, then there's the idea that, you know, it helps turn people on to, your, to your, what you do. And, and yeah. uh, But, you know, we've done, we did uh, a few years ago, what did we do? We did the, the Home Run Derby. Or the the, the All-Star Game. Yeah, oh, All-Star nice. All Game. And that we, uh, we played like in, the, in, I don't know, seventh inning stretch or something like that. Or maybe it was before, they, it was before the, the whole thing. And, and Where so, was it? That was in, in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, nice. Oh, so yeah. you guys America are Park. Detroiters. And you guys right? are from Detroit. I grew up in Detroit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We were just so. there not too long ago. A Sports Illustrated hosted daily live show, and mm -hmm. we went to Detroit for the ALCS. Nice. Yeah. But well, you're from Gross Point, right? Gross Point, yeah. So uh, is that a big movie in your in your life, Gross Point Blank? Uh, that was that was from the... Um, Accurate in any way to what you experienced it growing was up? filmed in the Upper Village, and where I lived, we went to the Lower Village, so it was kind of... I didn't know that place very well, but uh, it's all that town, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. I lived in, you know, Ann Arbor for a couple of years and went to Detroit a couple of times, and uh, I was afraid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was fearful. And and I heard about, you know, like Hell Night. Mm -hmm. I thought that mm -hmm. that was not real, but then, you Devil's know, night. on the news. Devil's, Devil's night, night, right. Mm -hmm. Then on the news every year, I mean, the, the streets are on fire. You know, yeah. people actually burn stuff would you go out and and burn people's houses down no you know my dad my dad would sit in the front roll, yard actually. yeah with his shotgun in the front yard and just really no way yeah 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 i mean they would burn down city blocks yeah it's just yeah it was nuts it really happened where did yeah. the anger stem from just it's the night before halloween people thought they just wanted to mess things up just yeah mm -hmm. so you never went out i was uh i moved out of detroit when i think i was i don't know 14 years old so oh. yeah too young wow. to race hell I don't know. We had we had mischief night. It never got that big. We would have eggs. burning whole eggs. city blocks. That seems like things getting yeah. out of hand. Yeah, a right. A little bit. Do you feel like Detroit doesn't get the recognition musically that it should in terms of you know the history of of rock and roll and just mm -hmm. where its place is in in the history? I don't know. I think I think a lot of people know of all the people that come out of Detroit. There's a lot of uh, I lived on the same street as um, Alto Sax, Bob Seger's sax player, but um, oh wow. Yeah, Bob you know, Seger yeah. is like Pioneer High School, Ann Arbor. Yeah. Everyone yeah. talked about uh, that when I was there. Well, he's, you know, everybody knows he's from Detroit, and you have um, Eminem. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Mile. I just, yeah. I just oh, watched. Kid Rock. Kid, Kid Rock. Rock. Mm -hmm. And last night, I actually just watched a movie called, a band called Death, which is about the first, like, arguably one of the first punk bands. It was, it's, this, it's this black punk band from somewhere in Detroit. And um, they were around, I think, around 73, 74. And wow. it's a fascinating story. Like, it's this documentary. Black guys in a punk band yeah, and it's in Detroit. Great. Wow. It's, really, it's really great. They were, um, they were these three brothers. 
and uh, it's a really fascinating story because you, their story only, their story and their record only recently got discovered mm. some 35 years later. See, it seems like that happens in Detroit. Like <laughs> the other things uh, get lost well, and then they get found. What's the the oh man? We just saw the the, the guy who went to South Africa. Oh, oh, sugar man? man? Forgotten. A, a sugar yeah. man, yeah, yeah. yeah. Surgery for sugar it's, man? It's, it's, it's a similar story to yeah. that. Yeah. Why does that happen in Detroit? Like, people put forth their their essence into this career in music, and no one cares. And then they <laughs> go back to work as, like, bricklayers. And, <laughs> and they can't get and enough. Then, you know, and then they're dead, and we're saying, oh, man, 1973, was the, that the death was time? awesome. <laughs> but no one, yeah. We didn't give him any credit. That's, that's Maybe good. I was lucky to move to Florida. Yeah, you somehow <laughs> yeah. eluded that yeah. trend. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Detroit to Orlando. That's yep. real moving on. It was a big move. Yeah. So that, what did you think of Orlando? I hated Orlando. Yeah, it's I, a bad place. I, I really did. When I moved from Detroit to Orlando, I um, my parents put me in this little private school, and I went to this big public school up in Detroit. I had a rock band, and um, kids at my school didn't even know who Metallica was. They didn't know... They listened to kids in Orlando. They didn't kids know Metallica. In Orlando. Yeah, and uh, uh, they what were, were they listening to? They like were listening the Mickey to like Mouse Janet Club? Jackson. Oh wow! CC Music Factory stuff like that. Yeah, what's, right. what's wrong with that? Yeah, <laughs> I was just about to crawl under the table and just uh -huh. like, show myself out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine that. No, but so, Orlando's like, got a weird vibe. I love Orlando now. I've been there for 20 years, but it's uh, Orlando's a nice. No, uh, Orlando's great. Young, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. I, I agree. I was actually thinking of Gainesville when I was saying Orlando. <laughs> I like great. it because it's uh, it's a nice sunny city. It's brand new. It's for kids, so everything's happy. When I go yeah. out of Orlando, it seems everything's kind of depressing. <laughs> so I yeah. like I like being at home. Isn't it hard to write like write songs if you're happy? I just <laughs> I, I just turn the lights off and and get in the mood. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can do that. Yeah, yep. even in Orlando. Even in Orlando. <laughs> wow. And Miles, uh, you're from Boston, and the movie spoke in. Yeah, I'm originally from from Boston. Boston. Yeah. You know, uh, I got to interview John Stockton. Oh, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that would go along with it. Ask yeah, him yeah. if he knows who John Stockton is. Do you know who John Stockton is? Uh, he he <laughs> plays with the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I figure John Stockton's like got to be the de facto mayor of Spokane. I'm just kidding. I know. I I, I remember hearing he, about John Stockton. He sells. He's um dresses like he's trying to sell you something at Radio Shack and like the Radio Shack actually closed five years ago and he's just hanging around really the nicest guy but yeah it's like you think that Jim Harbaugh's bad with the, with the yeah. khaki with the eight dollar khaki pants yeah well Looking he's stylish compared yeah to John he Stockton. wasn't always he was not a glamorous man <laughs> oh. John Stockton. No. you know you know speaking of Detroit and Spokane who I who I actually grew up with in, in Spokane was Jason Hansen who who is uh -huh. the, you know the the guy at, at Detroit and has been for this for some twenty years and kicked I don't know how many field goals so I'm yeah. very proud of Jason I, and he's a so snap he he's a snappy dresser from what I understand <laughs> yeah. is he yeah we actually went through elementary school junior high high school we actually played trumpet in the in the band together oh really yeah he was always first chair he was impossible really yeah really? so he was, was really he was, good he was more musical than you were trumpet wise absolutely <laughs> brass wise absolutely and Hidden then he could kick, he could kick a ball maybe like you nobody's just weren't business. applying yourself then <laughs> I wasn't he kind of sounds I, like I slacking a little bit it's like wow football player and trumpet like come on and he was the valid I think. I think he was the president of of the of the what's the where the smart people go Spanish and, club yeah not Spanish NHS. club uh, uh, honor society, society. Society. society and yeah, he, he was the president guy. of the this school like someone I would hate. he was super <laughs> human. he is superhuman he's a he's a great guy wow yeah sounds yeah. great so you so <laughs> yeah I'm a little jealous of him uh, so Spokane I mean being in Washington being in the Pacific Northwest I mean you were right in the middle of some pretty awesome music change I guess. I mean, do you feel like that uh, you were a big part of that? No. No? I was, I was not a, part of, a big part of it. It's funny because a lot of those bands would come over and play in the late 80s, um, and um, you know, it was interesting to see them explode a few years later. I remember Alice in Chains used to come over and, and open for national bands at like this place called Cavanaugh's, which was uh, uh, kind of a hotel. And uh, and it was fascinating. Like two, three years later, it just everything blew up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, when it happened, I didn't. Um, I put away my flannel and and everything because I felt like that was their scene. Uh -huh. you know? And being in Spokane, the, um, I just I I went down a different road. Started listening to lots of Stevie Wonder and Marvin Gaye. And oh, kind of, really? But yeah, it was kind of a. So was, you tried to separate yourself a little I, bit from the grunge kind of, thing. I kind of did. I appreciated it. I, I, but I was like, well, what's the point of kind of? Hop in their trip. Wow, they've, they've got it covered. So yeah, 
That's really interesting. Well, we got to take a break, but uh, we'll be right back with uh, Mark Tremonti and Miles Kennedy. The Artie Lang Show, weeknights on Audience, only on DirecTV.